Welcome to the workshop. Bit of a bonus today because I've got another new watch, a new release that is on the current mini sale. It's the first time that I've been reviewing this brand, Romalti, for a very good reason, because this is the old spelling, the old branding, and it was a real deal breaker for me. Well, 10 points to Gryffindor because they finally got the spelling right and seem to have bought another vowel. If you ask me, I think it looks great on that textured gray dial. You see, we have the uh, classic K-shape here and a five link bracelet. On one hand, there are maddeningly few models that use this new spelling, but on the other, this is one of my favorites, and it also happens to be at the lower end of the cost spectrum for the brand, offering a great price to quality ratio. In fact, the Remalti reminds me of an early San Martin, like this version one of the 1016 homage. The, uh, the big company that starts with R refers to this bracelet construction as Oyster, similar to the case, and this one as Jubilee. Both of those terms are trademark, so we'll keep it simple and just call this one three link and this one five link. The former is most guys' choice for an everyday watch, but the latter is slightly dressier and inherently more comfortable, take it from me. Given that the Romalti is half the price of an equivalent San Martin these days, why not add this to your collection so that you have that excellent Jubilee bracelet, you can wear it, protect you know, protect your more expensive watches from the laptop scratches and at the same time have something that's a little bit dressier. This watch is on sale for the next day and a half at around 155 US dollars. Never fear if you're coming here a bit late because there is an even larger promotion on at the end of June. You might even get a better deal. In addition to gray, the same dial is available in red or olive green. They're more situational colors, but compelling, especially as an artsy dress watch, given that 36 millimeter size. Where this watch really stands out is bridging the gap between higher end AliExpress offerings like San Martin and the true budget brands. And I guess that really, that requires a comparison. I think I got something here just a second, guys. Made this for Lunar New Year's using Miyuski parts. I believe this is a Parnas case, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And these give a clear idea of the different available price points and quality points that are available. Despite the obvious differences in bracelet and dial, these are all following the same design philosophy. And I think it's still golden hour, so why don't we go take a look at these outside. Nice day. Let's start with the San Martin because the Romalti actually compares quite favorably. The San Martin does use a different movement, the PT5000, so the case is slightly thinner. But other than that, amazingly, the only real quality difference I see is that the San Martin uses circular brushed finishing, whereas the Romalti is straight. So really not a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. The crown on the San Martin is a bit larger and easier to grasp. But other than that, these cases share the same smooth transitions, there's no sharp edges, and generally feel excellent on wrist. Honestly, if you swapped around a few components, I would have a hard time telling which is which. They even share similar clasps. While the San Martin is a bit beefier with these two here, I actually might like the Romaltis better because it's slightly more low profile. Either is better than the really chunky example that you get pretty much from every Parnas to every Pagani, and the problem is, even though it looks cool, it's very stiff to operate and super uncomfortable. So all show, no go. Same goes for the bracelet. Not only is the cheaper version just a little bit sharper on the edges, but it also takes a couple seconds in hand to realize which one is gonna be more comfortable for the long term. And finally, you'll notice that the case of my mod is fully polished, whereas the Romalti has brushing on top and that matches the outer links of this bracelet. So far, so good. So if you like this dial or one of the other colors, you're in the clear. I especially like the silver because it resembles the Cote de Genève movement in gray. Romalti first came to my attention last year with some really interesting Grand Seiko inspired cases and dials. Unfortunately, that old branding just really put me off. So hopefully we get to see some of those legacy designs with the new one. For the record, the case is indeed 36 millimeters at its widest point and just over 46 millimeters lug to lug. The height is 12.5 millimeters, and I forgot to mention this is a flat sapphire crystal. It takes a 20 millimeter strap, but honestly, I don't know why you'd switch it because I love the combination of the texture of this dial and the five link bracelet. We might return to this watch, but let's wrap it up so that sale price is still relevant. Don't worry, there is a larger AliExpress promotion on at the end of June. So keep this one in mind if you like what you see. And that goes double for the channel. But I'll stop being a bad influence. Thanks again and hope to see you soon.